In this video, I'm going to be installing Genrite's rear swing out tire carrier for the Jeep JK. First, you'll have to remove your old tire carrier and your license plate holder. Press in the urethane bushings and sleeves into each of the four mounting points of the tire carrier cage. Do not grease these sleeves. Install the tire hold down assembly. There are two choices for mounting depending on tire size. The top is for 40 or 42 inch spare tires and the bottom is for 37 inch or smaller size tires. There are three backing plates and clip nuts supplied that are fished down through the big center hole and held in place while installing the six bolts. Remove the tailgate hinges one at a time. Start with the top hinge first. Find and install the new slotted Genrite hinge on the top hinge location. Drill out and use a punch to remove the hinge pin. Reinstall the factory hinge arm using the shoulder bolt to replace the factory hinge pin. Once you install the upper hinge, complete these steps for the lower hinge. Once the factory tailgate hinges have been modified, install the tire carrier cage. Use someone or something to support the cage while installing the pivot bolts at the new tailgate hinges. Adjust the tire carrier cage level and tighten the bolts on the hinge. Remove the driver side tail light to access the inside of the body for the latch plate hardware. The latch plate has the mounting hardware pre-installed in the correct locations. Carefully remove but keep track of the exact locations of each bolt and spacer in the latch plate. With the tire carrier cage open, put the latch plate on the carrier with the quick release pins. Close the carrier to set the latch plate location on the rear of the vehicle. Mark each bolt location accessible while the latch plate is on the carrier cage. Then remove the latch plate from the carrier cage and mark the remaining hole locations on the body. Carefully drill through each location with a quarter inch drill bit, being careful not to let the drill walk. Redrill the two holes for the bump stops to 5 16 inches. Then on all mounting holes that have spacers, redrill through the first layer of the body only with a half inch drill. There will be a spacer installed between the two layers of the body to keep them from crushing. Now fully install the latch plate with mounting hardware supplied. With your latch plate fully installed, now put on your spare tire.
it is super important that the tire be pushed up tight against the inside of the tire carrier cage with the speed handle. The pressure between the tire and the carrier is a key aspect of how the holding mechanism supports the weight of the tire and wheel. Now close the carrier and adjust the top hinge side pivot to allow the carrier to close without the end user having to lift the carrier to close it. Close the carrier and install the quick release pin. Each pin has a small catch that rotates over to prevent the pins from being accidentally removed. Genride also provides a license plate delete cover. Just drill two holes and use the screws that came on the Jeep. The products used in the Stock Turok series can be purchased from these vendors.